What's going on YouTube and Big Brain Gang? It's Triton117 back again with another Music Degree reaction and today we're actually going to be reacting to my own video when I was featured on Harry Mack's Happy Hour Freestyle. It was one of the coolest experiences I've ever been a part of and I'm so grateful that I was featured on it. It was so amazing. We had such an awesome conversation and we were really to, to nerd out about our musical stuff that... Um, that uh, we both know. So to all the new people that are here to my channel, all my Harry Mack fans, guys, welcome to the Big Brain Gang. Make sure you guys subscribe and like the video so you can officially join. It's called Music Degree Reactions because I have my Music Degree friend right behind me. Trust me, this one's going to be a good one. And a little bit of background about me. I was a drumline captain at the high school and university I attended, so I actually share a really strong connection with Harry Mack where we were both drummers. We both graduated from college and we both have a music degree. So not only do I break down bars and lyrics like pretty much every other reaction channel, but along with Harry Mack, I actually talk about the musicality, the music production, and I bring a different perspective and paint a more fuller picture for you guys. I'm um, talking about lyrics and the music and everything in between. So it's going to be such a fun reaction. I never reacted to one of my own videos before, but I think I really owe you guys this one because there were so many hidden meanings that, um, that I mean, I was freaking out. I was like, dude, how is he doing this with a whole bunch of things that we did and um, had to learn in music and music school. So anyway, this is going to be full of information. You guys are going to love this one. Um, very, just lastly, Make sure you guys browse around in my content. I think you guys are really uh, going to enjoy it. My, my social medias, excuse me. We got a Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, and the Patreon actually just launched a few days ago and it's already taken off. We already got a couple members. That one is going to be where I give you the most big, like the most bang for your buck. You know, I'm going to give you guys lessons if you'd like. I can give you guys 30 minutes, an hour, um, requests. You guys got polls. Uh, a Discord community where we can really talk and have some awesome conversations, one-on-one -on -one chats and all this stuff. So anyway, guys, feel free to check it out. No pressure or anything, but I think it's going to be a really, really good time and you guys will learn plenty of info. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and react to one of my own videos. It's going to be nuts, insane. And uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Thanks for talking music with me. And guys, as always, stay true, stay you. Let's check this out. Ooh. Oh, the music? The, nah, just kidding. The intro. Oh, <laughs> All right. People in here, bro. Let's get it, man. Well, without further ado, <clears throat> oh man, our first guest on uh, Triton One One Seven. Yo, and I gotta say, I'm so happy they said my name right, cause yes, it's Triton One One Seven. And damn, like so many people are like Triton, uh, Triton, dude, Triton, baby, let's go. That's how we know we're we're starting off in a in a in a good spot right there. Let's Triton One One Seven in the house. Oof. What's going on, Triton? Hey, what's going on? Let me turn my camera on real quick. Uh, yes, indeed. Yo, and at this point, I was already so nervous, dude. I was like, oh my god, I'm live on chat. Like, this is nuts. So, ah, uh, let's go. Hey, it is. Hey, Mr. Harry Mack. How's it going? I I'm good. How are you? You can see it in my eyes, dude. My, my mouth is twitching. <laughs> good thing my camera isn't as good as his, because you guys would have seen the... <laughs> let's good. go. Where are, you, uh, where are you joining us from? Yeah, so I'm in uh, South Texas right now. Okay, right on. South Texas in the house, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they wanted me to talk a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I'm Triton 117. I actually am a new reaction channel about two or three months in. Okay. And uh, I actually found your stuff, your Omegle or Omegle or whatever it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, I did my... By the way, no one has told me if it's Omegle or Omegle. Can someone please try and do that little sound thing in parentheses? How do you spell it? Is it Omi or Ome? I have no idea. My first reaction like four or five days ago, and man, I got flooded with your fans. It was awesome. <laughs> For real? But uh, yeah, I, I got... He's such a nice a, guy. Uh, strong connection with you right off the bat. Actually, you can probably see I have my music degree behind me as well. Okay, I dope. graduated uh, with the... Focus and percussion as well. So no uh, I'm a drummer just like yeah, I graduated <laughs> college and stuff. Hell yeah. And uh You'll, you'll see in my words, I tried to throw some music theory stuff at you, see if he could, uh... Yeah, I really threw some funky stuff at him, and I'm so... It's crazy that he was over to... I don't want to ruin it, but let's just say my man's... My man showed up. My man's Harry Mack showed up. Let's keep going. Roll with it a little bit. <laughs> oh, but, uh, hell yeah, bro. Well, yeah, well, it was it was sweet. I love it, man. What, what, what type of music do you like to play? Uh, man, I... Well, so I... To pass, I had to learn uh, a semester of jazz drum set, and man, that was... <laughs> His face is like <laughs> I ever did. I mean, because he's a jazz drummer. With, you know your hands and your right. feet. Oh man, it was it was you know two and four on the hi hat and one and three in the bass and right. mixing it up and stuff was awesome. So um, I really heard it like in your voice and in, even in the music and stuff that uh, you know like during your your freestyles and stuff it was yeah. so <clears> awesome. I mean I was freaking out because I could tell I was like I know this guy's a jazz drummer. I could tell by see I really felt like I was talking too much, but they wanted me to talk, but I was like ah. Like I wanna, I really wanna tell him, like, dude, like I really get you, man. Like I, I really feel you, like on, 
on a on a astrom- astronomical level. Like I really understand what you're doing and saying, man. Like I just wanted to get that across to him. So I, you guys can know I could talk for hours, which is why I had to introduce other social medias. Cause God, I could talk forever. Such a bad habit, but I mean, I don't know. Something I gotta work on, maybe or or not. Just depends. How he raps on the beat, you know. Sometimes yeah. you like to lay back, yeah. and I can feel. That's, that's what I call it in the pocket. I'm sure you know what that means. Of course, bro. You know? Of course. <laughs> we live in the pocket. Oh, you know? we, we live. We live in the pocket, man. We live <laughs> in the pocket. In the that, pocket. That's, that's so. So, uh, T, what you guys don't know, pocket is literally just a complete slang term where the pocket is on on backbeat. If this is the beat, you're like. So, right, we're just on the back. We're just grooving. Like we're not. There's no rush. There's nowhere we got to be, so we're just here chilling, man, you know? So anyway, that's what the pocket means. So you guys are in on it. Don't tell anybody unless unless you think they're worthy. That's the pocket, all right? That's us. what us drummers know. Don't tell anybody unless they deserve it, all right? That's fair. Right. Awesome. Man, well, I appreciate you, bro, and, and uh, congrats on getting your channel started. I know how, yeah, how thanks, m- massive of a move that is, and, and uh, so congrats to you, man, for diving in, and I'm happy to hear yeah. that. You know, my community was showing you some love. It hats off to the community. Yeah. You guys are, are, are representing me well, it sounds like. Yeah, I got to say, you guys bring the best vibes, you know. Uh, there's uh, there's a whole bunch of communities. You guys just bring so – I've just been – I think I'm blessed, you know. I just feel so lucky that I haven't really gotten many toxic people. I've gotten a good – my fair amount of toxic people who just don't really dig the way that I react. I mean, whatever. Like, people are their people. I'm me and they're them, you know. But I got to say, like, all of you guys have been really uh, supportive. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. It's been awesome. Let's keep going, though. So I appreciate that. And uh, we're happy to have you here on Happy Hour, man. So let's, let's get, get into it, some of these uh, music theory <laughs> terms, man. What do you got for me? Let's see. Do I need to – are they going to pull it up? You want me to let you know? Uh, yeah, tell we got them on screen, but I'll pull them up as oh, you sweet, say sweet. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, you got? Okay, so the uh, one was music theory. Music theory. Just – there we go, nice and simple. And so uh, I'll, I'll like, I guess I'll touch on the words. So music theory is literally just the study of music and how it's constructed. So music theory, you learn a lot of ways of how you can um, write notes, the do's and the don'ts. There's literally rules to it that date back to Beethoven when they first started uh, writing music. Music theory is just the um, the knowledge of how to do it correctly. You know, a lot of people thrive on doing it incorrectly, but the fact is that there are rules in writing music, which is I don't know if that blows anybody's mind, but there are do's and don'ts. It's 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 crazy. So, and then the second was a Picardy third. I'm not gonna touch on it because I kind of explain it. Um, I could literally go on probably 30, 45 minutes about what a Picardy third is, but I'll kind of save that for the Patreon because I'm not sure if you guys want me to sit here and tell you and talk about music. So let's keep going. Picardy I don't third. Remember that back in the day. I remember it, but you gotta <laughs> yeah, tell me. Yeah, yeah. His face is like, dog. Why are? <laughs> so it was. It's... Yeah, go ahead. So so basically, it's it just has something to do. Um, with how chords, uh, how they settle, yeah. you know, in a melody in the bass and stuff. Basically, it's just I'm not gonna, I won't get too complicated with it. But basically, it's just how they manipulate each other and just making different sounds and uh, you know stuff that dates back to Beethoven. You know, but yeah, yeah. It's just a little small little inflection, just to add some little spice. That's what I call it on the reaction channel. Uh, not yeah. to get too complicated, it's just some spice. You know. Yeah, so. bro, you coming in here with some classic <laughs> shit, man. Let's, yeah, go. Yeah, let's go, let's go. All right, what else, man? And then I'm not gonna lie, I think. Oh, treble clef. There you go. I almost forgot. Do you know how embarrassing that would have been if I forgot my third word? It's three, bro. I can't count to three, or I can't remember three things. Oh, I was almost, I was this close to being so embarrassed on li- like live stream. Uh. Treble clef, <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay, yeah, yeah. dope. So this is going to be fun, man. This is all Oh, right up. treble clef is, um, uh, some people didn't know this, and I felt so bad because I think before I came on, I was like, they're asking my words, and I was like, oh, treble clef. And, and I was like, yeah, everyone kind of knows. And some were like, nah, I don't. And I was like, oh. I feel so bad because I don't like to assume that everybody knows, you know, what I'm talking about. Because simple stuff in a musician's mind is not simple to everybody else. And I kind of didn't really think about that, you know, before I went on live. So I was really watching what I say, you know. But um, Trouble Clef, I could probably pull it up. Uh, maybe later. I don't know if you guys are that interested, but I will describe what it is. It's the one that looks like a very big squiggly line. It's in the so you and it's called your clef, right? It's what dictates. So music is made up of five different lines, and it looks like this, right? I'm sure you guys know that. That's at least called the staff. Well, your clef is what tells you what these five lines, the notes are, because they're different. Treble clef is more on the high people for the singers and for the guitar and for the violin, and the bass clef is down where all the deep notes are. Bass clef looks like that. Why did I do that? It just looks like that with two dots, kind of. 
I could be doing it wrong, but it's okay. And a trouble cliff is this whole contraption. He'll rap about it, and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it as we go. But let's keep going. My alley, uh, music theory, <clears throat> Pickardy third, and trouble clef, right? <clears throat> yes, sir. Let's get it, man. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, sir, I am. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh, perfect. All right, yeah. Mm, and the hey, beat? Oh. Hey, come on. Hey, yeah. Come on. Hey, one, two, hey. One, two, hey. One, two, uh, they be hearing me clearly. Matt going deep with the music theory. Okay, so that's cool. I don't really need it. I'm going to stop and touch on something if I feel like I need to further explain it. But other than that, you guys just sit back and enjoy. This is a really cool experience. Uh, they be hearing me clearly. Matt going deep with the music theory. Yeah, we on it and I'm leaving the floor. I'm going to teach you about the harmony and teach about chords. So harmony and chords, chords make harmony. Harmony is just the relationship between these different notes as you're playing all your blah 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 them together if you were to break it down like make it like in a columns that's harmony right just the the relationship of all the music together anyway when it comes to lyricism i'd be too live sign uh i'm gonna let y'all know about the 251 this is dope I, I mean you guys wouldn't really know what a 251 is but there are rules like i said before into writing music and so a 251 is one of the rules you usually go one two five one one two five one and those that's just one of the rules of how to get back to one the, the whole thing about writing music is just getting back to one one is home so one of them is like one two five one that's one of the combinations that you could do think about it like a boxing combination you know you can always go off but you have a chance of <clears throat> of maybe messing up or it's not really comfortable that's kind of how it is in a way you know it's just a rule and a lot of people follow that one it's one of the most basic ones but that's dope let's go back I'm going to make sure, you guys were telling me to make sure I rewind so I can kind of pick up into it, so I'll make sure I do that. The lyricism, I be too live, son. Uh, I'm going to let y'all know about the 251. Mm. H-Mac in effect, man. Y'all know that as far as I'm producing, we need that perfect musical re uh, resolution. Yeah, we make it happen, no doubt. When it comes to lyricism, I'm going to stay on my route. The 2 minus 7 on to the dominant chord. Oh, that's crazy. So again, he's talking about uh, 251. He said 2 minus 7 with the dominant chord. It's the same thing, two, five, one. Dominant is a different word for five. You have tonic, which is one, and dominant, which is five. That's just the, like an, another name for it if you want to sound all cool, music theorist. Um, you have tonic and dominant. Um, so two, five, one is two minor, seven minor. I'm not going to get too much into it. It's just a different type of chord. <clears throat> two minor leads into the dominant to five because like two, five, one, minor two, five, one. Dope, bro. Dope. The lyricism on my route. The two minus seven on to the dominant chord. Got you hanging in suspense to make you want it for sure. Yeah, that's crazy because dominant, um, a lot of dominant leads into one, like how I said two five one. Well, it, a lot of people stay on five, and that's like to someone that like knows chords, you're like, like go to one, like I'm ready for you to go to one. You know what I mean? So as you know, as you memorize these rules, you know what they go to next. You know what I mean? And so uh um, so as you're waiting, like it's suspense. It's actually called a suspension, literally suspense. So you're like suspended, literally suspended in the air. Or not literally, but you're waiting for it to go to one. So that's what he said. And I was literally, this is when I started freaking out. I was like, bro, this is already fire. See, I was freaking out. As you resolve, you resolve the five to the seven, right? So there's another way. It's one, two, five, one, or one, two five five seven and the seven is the if this is one it's uh, um. it's like the um oh yeah it's like a jaws it's the you're leading into the run five is five five seven one five five seven one Oh, dude, that's so cool. That was that was hard. That was a hard bar right there. Anyway. On to the chord. Got you hanging in suspense to make you want it for sure. What we about to resolve to. We need that major seven. Neck off the top. I'm sending MC straight to heaven. And just in case you guys were curious, I can actually just go back at the end and we'll listen to it all the way through. But I want to break it down so you guys can actually take some knowledge away from this. And then I'll go back and we'll just chill with it together. I, I'm stopping too much, so I'll make sure I just rewind from the beginning and we'll just watch the whole thing all the way through. Anyway, let's keep going. I'm doing what I need to do, and y'all know I be y'all up on the word spree. 
street, uh, I'll be representing right now at 30 years old, I'm about to do this, my bars are ruthless, I'm in tune with the music, yeah, I'm in the session straight up ripping these words, <coughs> drop a theory on you rappers like the Picardy Third, mm, hold up, that was yeah, dope. y'all know that I'm about to make them choices, <coughs> Picardy Third, we resolving the inner voices, yeah, so resolving the inner voices, it's dope that he holds up four, because you have your bass, tenor, something, and melody, Oh, I forgot what this one. Bass, tenor. Oh, I can't remember it. Anyway, you have four different voices, and these are called the inner voices. The inner voices, you this one you usually lead up to one, and this one we usually lead down. So these can stay the same, and these are just kind of doing whatever they want. But at the end, they they lead like that. That doesn't hurt my fingers. <laughs> it looks kind. I bet it looks weird on camera. But like these are kind of just going like this, and these help keep the rules. Um, they help make sure that you don't break the rules. So then at the end, they go like that. Dope. That's and that's called resolving. At the end, you just resolve it. Y'all know that I'm about to make them choices. Picardy third, we resolving the inner voices. Yeah, I be rolling like a armory. We resolving the inner voices of the harmony. See the inner voices of the harmony, right? The inner voices of the relationship of the chords. Dope, dude. Yeah, I be rolling like a armory. We resolving the inner voices of the harmony. Yeah, and when I'm rapping, they gon' mention me. They looking inside the chord structure for the density of chord structure of the density. Cause there's, I mean, dense. Cause there's so many things. It's just dense. Let's keep going. And when I'm rapping, they gon' mention me. They looking inside the chord structure for the density. Eventually, they gonna understand the way we move and my flow's art. I dig back to the times of Mozart. <laughs> and all up in the game, you know I stay roasting. MCs while composing like I'm Beethoven. So composing, I'm sure you guys probably know what that means. But again, I'm done assuming, so I don't hurt anybody's feelings. Composing is literally just writing. Composing is creating. So you're composing music. You're writing music like Mozart, Beethoven. Let's go. And all up in the game, you know I stay roasting. MCs while composing like I'm Beethoven. Come on, I spit it till I'm out of breath. Can you imagine writing compositions when you deaf? Cutting off the Beethoven was deaf. And I should have probably waited till the next scene, but De Beethoven was deaf. This man wrote music while deaf. That's crazy. And I've, I've always was like, dude, that's, that's God tier, you know? He was able to write music while deaf. And you're, you're going to see what he did to help him. He memorized the sounds of the piano before, but you're about to see another way that he helped himself. Harry Max is right here. Spit it till I'm out of breath. Can you imagine writing compositions when you deaf? Cutting off the legs of the piano just to feel the vibrations on top of your lap. That shit is real. So Yeah, what he did. So music is sounds are literally just vibration and i'm sure mo i'm gonna stop saying that that's what it is um sounds music it's just vibrations that's how uh, record players work you're you're not like in it's not like copy and paste onto a record player or onto the actual you know cd disc itself it's they they were somehow able to etch in right how it would resonate and that's how the music is created. I don't even freaking know how, how to make those. That is such crazy science to me. But it's just etchings, right? It's reading the etching and it's making those sounds. And that sounds are your favorite songs or songs that people love to play um, over and over. Anyway. Off the legs of the piano just to feel the vibrations on top of your lap. That shit is real. So we getting over any obstacle. Nothing's impossible. Pulling out my lyrical sword. Slay my colossal foe. Uh, I'm on it. I'm on I don't know what a colossal foe is. I probably could have looked it up before I did this reaction. If you guys want to uh, drop that down in the comments. If you guys want to do. I don't want to Google it for you guys right now. You know. Um, just so I can keep the reaction going. Uh, Google it down. Or Google it in the. Google it. And drop it down in the comments. And then I can tell you guys how it. Uh how it uh, fit into the bars, because I'm sure it was something, so. It's impossible, pulling out my lyrical sword, slay my colossal foe, uh, I'm on it, I'm gonna settle for less, I'm about to get you high, just like treble clef. About to get you high, just like treble clef, because treble clef are where the higher notes, um, where you write the higher notes. Those are the higher notes, the bass clef is down, and the lower notes. Uh, I'm on it, I'm gonna settle for less, I'm about to get you high, just like treble clef, it's H man, y'all know that I'm ripping my rhymes, that shit is hard to draw, looking like a squiggle Line. Yeah, so the squiggly line is literally the treble clef, okay? And that's so hard to draw. Took plenty of time to learn how to do it. Yeah, we took plenty of time to learn how to do it in music theory one. So, or, or there's usually intro class into music theory because it's so difficult. You literally sit there and trace it and trace it and trace it and draw it and draw it and draw it. Part of music theory is having to write it all um, 
having to write it all perfectly and you have to write it perfectly. You'll get points off of your assignment if it doesn't look exactly like how it would look on a computer. Crazy. So we all got good at drawing it. Um, it is, it's, it's nuts. We had to sit there for hours and draw those, just those little signs. Crazy. Hard to draw, looking like a squiggly line. Uh, took plenty of time to learn how to do it. That's why I'm not in my head. The difficult part about writing music. But nowadays, hey, yo, you don't got to go ham. You don't have to know, man, because you can use a program. That is the craziest, craziest bar I've heard freestyle off the dome. He's like, you don't need to go ham because you can get a program. And a program, uh, he, he alludes to it later on in his freestyle, but uh, you can, I'm, I'm, a program, a musical program, you can use to compose music. So it does it for you. You just copy and paste, you drag the sign. You don't have to learn how to do it anymore. You can do it all on a computer. Hey, yo, you don't got to go ham. You don't have to know, man, because you can use a program. <laughs> uh, all of my lyrics, they sound super. Imagine writing all your music before a computer. Yeah. Back in the days, that shit was explosive. When you didn't have Sibelius to transpose it. That's crazy, dude. Listen to this back. This guy is nuts. So he says, um, back in the day when they would have to write it, the better you wrote it, the higher tier you were, you know? But now with the days, it's how, you know, how fast you can rhyme or the craziest things you can think of. Back in the day, it was how well you could write the signs. If it looked immaculate, you were crazy. You were a god tier, you know? And uh, so now he's, I kind of forgot, ah, oh, fuck, I forgot exactly what he was saying. But back in the day, you were crazy when you'd have to write it. And, uh, hold Back on. in the days, that shit was explosive when you didn't have Sibelius to Oh, yeah. It. Sibelius is a program, uh, one of the musical programs. That's what it's called. You guys can look it up or check it out, whatever. Sibelius is, uh, Sibelius and Finale. Those are the two main ones that people use to uh, literally compose music for bands. You know, if any of you guys were in it in high school, your band directors or whoever probably used it, uh, used Sibelius or Finale to write out the band shows and everything. <clears throat> Those are two of the pro uh, most popular programs to write music. Crazy that he tied that back together. Back in the days, that shit was explosive. When you didn't have Sibelius to transpose it. And transpose is another word. Oh, no. Transpose is not another word for compose. Compose is writing it. But transposing is, let's say, uh, you want to do trumpet to flute. They're not this, They're not literally the same. You have to transpose it. Sometimes you have to take the notes down a couple of steps. or this. Like You can copy and paste it but they would be playing different notes. So some of them have to go up and some of them have to go down for them to literally be the same notes. They're the same notes on the instrument, but when you apply it, the sound, the actual pitch is different, if that makes sense. I can go into more in depth again. If you guys want me to drop all this stuff, if you guys are really curious, that's what the Patreon's for. You Feel free to go on there and I will talk for hours about what this actually is. So it, it's fun for me, I love talking. So if you guys are actually curious, go check it out guys, it'll be a good time. I hope y'all know this, then y'all know that this dude gon' rule. <laughs> I be dropping references from music school. There's a references from music school. I was freaking out by that time. I was like, dude, this is dope. When it comes to lyricism, he be too absurd. This video is too niche, just for the music nerds. Yeah, go and study that. Y'all know we on it. Boys, I drop, I keep them honest. And my lyrics, they make sense. I bring the they do make sense. with the rap and solutions. I'm getting past all the pollutions with my rap and cadence. Yo, that's dope. You can see it in his eyes, how he was rapping, but... He knows exactly, and he talked about this. Um, again, it's another skill that I actually have too, but he, he's applied it to rap, where you're playing or you're rapping something, you're playing it, but what you're seeing or thinking <clears throat> is actually um, ahead, right? So we were trained as drummers to read music, and what you're playing, you're reading actually the next line, or you're reading ahead. So you're reading right here, but you're playing right here, and you're just going like this. So your mind, your brain, your eyes are always one step ahead of what you're playing. And he applied it to rap, which is genius. Crazy. Resolution with the rap and solutions. I'm getting past all the pollutions with my rapping cadence. Yeah, I'm there for rapping cadence. A cadence is usually um, at the end of a musical phrase. It's kind of how it resolves, right? That relationship of the resolve of how it resolves is called a cadence. The rap and this is where he goes ham right here. With my rap and cadence, yeah, I'm here for all my peeps. We're really about to go deep. Hey, when they become in the buzz, y'all know I've never been cheap. Yeah, gotta come through with the triplets. I'm ready to spaz. I said, gotta come through with the triplets, cause this here is jazz. Yeah, so triplets are one of the most used uh, rhythms in jazz. When it goes tss, 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 of the drum set, of the ride cymbal, the tss, 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 that's all in triplets. It's swing triplet, though. It's not. Tss, You increase the space between the first and the second note, so there's less space between the second and third. So you go, tss, 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 
triple it, 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 triple it. That's crazy, right? I hope that makes a little bit of sense, but again, that could be another request you guys make so I can write it out and explain to you guys, but it's dope. Triplets are all about jazz and Harry Max all about jazz, so we gotta come through with the triplets. It's all logic. Hey, yo, I grip the mic and do this. I will pursue this while I drop bars about the music. Let's go. go, 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 go. <laughs> crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was the craziest music theory rap I've ever heard. Oh, my God. Appreciate that, was that sick, man. man. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate That's that. That's what's up, man. Man, thank you for coming on here and, and, and throwing me that inspo, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I got I gotta say it's awesome to meet you, man. Thank you so much for that. That was that was sweet. Likewise, man. Pleasure to meet yeah. you as well. Where can people check out your reactions, man? What's your channel? Yeah, so on YouTube and on Instagram, tried one one seven and on Twitch as well. So I'm fully <coughs> active. I'm I'm here and I'm ready to go. So spreading the the world's uh universal language, music. So let's we're here. get it, man. Yeah, let's man. get it, bro. I love the positivity, love the energy. Thank you again for stopping by, man, and, and uh keep going, <coughs> all right? Yeah, take it easy, man. Thank you, you too. guys. Peace. Yeah. That was so dope. Let's let's finish out the conversation, then we'll go back and we'll just listen to the whole thing. All right, guys? Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Shouts out Triton. Triton. In the Jeez. house. I just I just saw his channel earlier today. People were commenting on my on my videos. They're like, yo, Triton, new reactor. So, shout out Triton. Yo, and I got to say, man, you guys are seriously awesome. For, for, for you guys to reach, I mean... Let me put this in perspective. I dropped a Harry Mack reaction now, probably like six or seven days ago. I don't know for sure. And in three days, you guys got directly to Harry Mack for them to bring me on as a special guest. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to break out in tears, guys, but I just got to say, like, I really appreciate the support. As you guys can see, I love what I do, and I just love music so much. So to be able for you guys to make that strong of, that strong of an impact for me personally... It means more to me than you guys can know. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. That was amazing. Let's let's finish out their convo. Uh, or at least finish out their convo about me or whatever it is. And then we'll go back and we'll listen to the whole thing. So you guys can just sit back and enjoy it. That's what's <laughs> up, man. The reactor squad is strong on you, man. We had a, we've had a lot, a lot of reactors on happy hour. Okay, sick. Let's go back a little bit. Let's wait till he starts. Oh no, he's already started. Oh no, he already started. My bad. Fun man, this is all right, Clef, right? Uh, all, all right, let's go. Right, let's yeah. just watch it. Let's just vibe together, all right, guys? Come on, hey, <clears throat> yeah, come on, hey, one, two, hey, one, two, hey. <clears throat> One, two, uh, they be hearing me clearly. Matt going deep with the music theory. Yeah, we on it and I'm leaving the floor. I'ma teach you about the harmony and teach about chords. When it comes to lyricism, I be too live, son. Uh, I'ma let y'all know about the 251. H-Mack in effect, man. Y'all know that it's bars I'm producing. We need that perfect musical re uh, resolution. Yeah, we make it happen, no doubt. When it comes to lyricism, I'ma stay on my route. The two minus seven on to the dominant chord. Got you hanging in suspense to make you want it for sure <laughs> What we about to resolve to We need that major seven Mac off the top, I'm sending MC straight to heaven I'm doing what I need to do And y'all know I be all up on the word spree uh, I be representing right now We're 30 years old, I'm about to do this My bars are ruthless, I'm in tune with the music Yeah, I'm in the session straight up ripping these words Dropping theory on you rappers like the Picardy third Hold up, yeah, y'all know that I'm about to make them choices Picardy third, <laughs> Man. Inner voices, yeah. I be rolling like an armory. We resolving the inner voices of the harmony, yeah. Man. And when I'm rapping, they gon' mess with me. They looking inside the chord structure for the density. Eventually, they gonna understand the way we move and my flow's art. I dig back to the times of Mozart, yeah. And all up in the game, you know I stay roasting. MCs while composing like I'm Beethoven. Come on, I spit it till I'm out of breath. Can you imagine writing compositions when you deaf? Cutting off the legs of the the piano just to feel the vibe that's my favorite part that shit is real so we getting over any obstacle nothing's impossible pulling out my lyrical sword slay my colossal foe uh, i'm on it i'm gonna settle for less i'm about to get you high the reason, sorry the reason why i kept looking to the side is because my girlfriend's there and she's just like that's the first time she ever heard him so i was like you see 
He's great. Slay my colossal foe. Uh, I'm on it. I'm gonna settle for less. I'm about to get you high, just like Treble Clef. It's H Man. Y'all know that I'm ripping my rhymes. That shit is hard to draw, looking like a squiggly line. Uh, took <laughs> plenty of time to learn how to do it. Yeah, that's a difficult part about writing music. But nowadays, hey yo, you don't gotta go ham. You don't have to know, man, cause you can use a program. Uh, all of my lyrics they sound as super. Imagine writing all your music before a computer. Yeah, back in the day. Days, that shit was explosive when you didn't have Sibelius to transpose it. I hope y'all know this, then y'all know <laughs> that this dude gon' rule. <laughs> I be dropping references from music school. When it comes to lyricism, he be too absurd. This video is too niche just for the music nerds. Yeah, go and study that y'all know. I was trying my hardest to be silent and I kept laughing. On it, boys, I drop the yo is too niche go. just for the music nerds. Yeah, go and study that y'all know we on it, boys. I drop, I keep them honest and my lyrics, they make sense. I bring the resolution with the rest. And solutions. I'm getting past all the pollutions with my rapping cadence. Yeah, I'm there for all my peeps. We're really about to go deep. Hey, when they be coming to buzz, y'all know I've never been cheap. Yeah, gotta come through with the triplets. Mm. I'm ready to spaz. I said, gotta come through with the triplets, cause this here is jazz. Hey, man, they couldn't stop it. We boosting up the profit. Me and my fellow drummer, we be living in the pocket. It's all logic. Hey, yo, I grip the mic and do this. I will pursue this while I drop bars about the music. Let's go. go, go, go. Oh man! Uh. <laughs> that was the craziest music theory rap I've ever heard. Oh my god! Dude, I feel like I'm I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life, man. That was the craziest thing I've ever experienced. It was so sick. I feel like I still don't even understand the actual like how big that was. You know what I mean, guys? Oh, it was so awesome. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I hope you were vibing with me. I hope you guys learned something. More importantly, that's really the true reason why I started this channel you know I really wanted to just spread the knowledge and all the things that I learned I feel like you know I feel like it just shouldn't be you know buckled down to the people that went to school you know so I give a lot of you guys this knowledge and all I ask is you know if you guys could show some support and at least just be here with me you know what I mean guys at least just come back for the knowledge and uh, just vibe and have a good time together so if you guys want to expand your knowledge if you guys really want to learn more if you guys want lessons and stuff feel free to hit up that patreon I mean it's gonna be a really good time together that thing's gonna really be big I want this to be a movement of the big brain gang you know what I mean guys so uh, anyway thank you guys so much for being here thank you guys so much for watching with me thanks for talking music with me and as always Guys, stay true, stay you. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, everybody.